Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing my first lip swatch video, along with a kind of overview of these products from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be going over all of her currently released Lip Stunna lip paints. Now, when she first released this product, it only had one shade, and it was this bright red right here, almost matching my shirt, and it took the beauty community by storm. It truly was a universal red. Ever since this came out, myself, among many, many others, were waiting for more shades to come out. We waited, we waited, we waited, and then in one week, they released four more. <laughs> But they spread them out. They released two, and then they released one, and then they released the black one that is all over the internet right now. So I have all five shades, so I'm going to be swatching each shade, showing you some dupes that I found for a couple of the shades, and then just letting you know what I think of the formula and my experience with all of the colors as a whole. I'm also going to be doing a wear test with one of the darker colors, just so you guys can see what a full day of wear looks like with one of these lip paints. So before we jump into all of that, I hope if you haven't already, you would consider subscribing and hitting a little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. And if you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out just with all the YouTube algorithm stuff, and I really appreciate it. So let's just go ahead and start with the shade that I have on my lips right now. The shade is called Unbutton, and it's the lightest shade that she came out with. It is a light peachy nude. I absolutely adore this shade, and it's among one of like my favorite nude shades in my entire collection. It has the same standard packaging as the rest of the lip paints, with the exception of the black one. They did change the packaging for that black one, and I think that one came out really nicely. But you've got this unique applicator right here on the end. I, I've heard some people complain about the applicator, but personally, I really like it. I just find that sometimes it can get too much product on the actual, like, doe foot, not doe foot, but on the actual applicator, so I have to just like, kind of wipe it off as I apply. Since I already have this one on, you won't see me apply this one, but you will see me apply the rest of the shades. And I think it's a lot easier to see how it applies with darker shades as opposed to one that's almost, you know, my lip color. This wears really well throughout the day as long as your lips are bare. For the most part, if I'm going for a full coverage makeup look, I will put foundation over my lips and then put my lipstick on top of that. That works pretty well for the majority of my lipsticks, including the red one from this line, but when I did that with this one, it didn't wear well. So you cannot have concealer or foundation powder or anything under this one. I don't know if the formula is different, because I can definitely do that with some of the other shades in this collection, but just take a makeup wipe, wipe off the foundation, and then put this on. It made a world of difference on the wear time and the appearance of just this shade. I looked through my entire collection and couldn't find an exact dupe of this shade, but the closest I got was a lipstick from Dose of Colors. This is their liquid lipstick in Let's Cuddle. I'll throw a picture up right here so you can see the two shades side by side. They've got kind of the same undertone like thing going on, but as you can see, there's a shade difference. One's definitely a lot darker, but it's the closest that I could get, which means this is a fairly unique color. I do have a large collection. I do have plenty of nudes, and that's the closest that I could get. So I really think this is a great addition to my collection, and I don't think it's too easily dupable. You might think so looking at it online, but really, it's just a very unique shade. And I love the performance on this one. So the next shade that I'm going to be talking about is the dark kind of mauve shade that she came out with called Uncuffed. When I first saw this on the website, I thought this would be a nice, like, similar shade to one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And it's from Wet n Wild. It's the shade Rebel Rose from their, um... Mega Last Liquid Catsuit collection. So I did swatch them side by side. They don't look exactly the same. They've got definitely, the Wet n Wild is definitely a lot more like rosy and pinky, whereas this one is a bit more neutral, which would definitely suit a lot more skin tones. I also thought this shade would be similar to a liquid lipstick that I have from ABH, and this is called Trouble. It's just called Trouble. And again, they don't look exactly the same. The ABH one does have some different undertones to it. So despite the fact that it just looks like a mauve lipstick, it 
it is unique within my collection as well. I love the wear time on this. It definitely wears better than my Rebel Rose, but I think I like just like the pinky tinge that it gives me a little bit more than the Fenty one, but just going off of the formula of the Fenty and just how comfortable it is and how long it wears throughout the day, this is a great fall shade. Now I will say you have to be careful when you apply these because you get a lot of product on that applicator and the minute you kind of like get outside the line of your lips, it's gonna get messy and it's gonna be a little bit hard to clean up, especially as we get into these darker colors. But this is one that I can wear on top of foundation or concealer and it doesn't make a difference in the wear time like that lighter shade did. And I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. The next shade that I'm going to be talking about is her original Lip Stunna shade and this is in the shade Uncensored, the beautiful Universal Red. This is my go-to red lipstick. If I ever leave the house with a red lipstick, odds are it is this one. This is the longest lasting red lipstick, lasts throughout eating, I just have to reapply right near like the butthole area, you know. This is so opaque, it is gorgeous on like a huge variety of different skin tones and different undertones and I think this was a genius first release for these lip stunners. Now going through my collection, I have found some exact dupes for the shade, not for the formula. So I'm going to show you two dupes, I'll throw the picture up right here in different lighting. I also looked at these shades in different lighting just to make sure they were very similar. The first dupe I have is from Wet n Wild and it's the Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Missy and Fierce. This isn't the best formula from their line. The Liquid Cat Suit line, their formula changes drastically between shades. So it's not going to be as long wearing. It's not going to be it's not going to be as opaque. This is just one layer of the Fenty lipstick, but like to get this same kind of pigmentation with the Wet n Wild, I have to go in with at least two layers, which means that it feels a little bit heavier. And sometimes if you don't let it dry all the way before you start doing your stuff, it'll crack. But this is an exact dupe for the actual shade. If you just want to wear it for pictures or if you want to wear it for videos, for filming, it is very, very, very close, if not exact. The other dupe that I have for this one in my collection, it's actually fairly close to the formula, not exactly the same, but it's also long lasting, is from Jeffree Star. This is his Velour Liquid Lipstick in Red Rum. Now this one isn't the exact shade dupe. I feel like this is one to two shades lighter and more orangey but it's very close in swatches and on the lips as well. This is behind the Fenty lipstick, the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick Formula is my second favorite. Very, very similar. I just like the way that the Fenty applies better than I do with the Jeffree ones. That's basically the difference right there. I also find that the Fenty just lasts a little bit longer, whereas like after I'm done eating with like a Jeffree Star one, I have to reapply the majority of the lipstick. So you have two dupes out there if you really like the shade and you don't want to pick up the Fenty one. One, it's, I mean, they're both cheaper than the Fenty. The full size of the Jeffree Star is 18, whereas the full size of the Liquid Cat Suit is right around like four or six dollars. But I think it's worth it to pick up the $24 Fenty one. Honestly, these are some amazing lipsticks. Now you don't have to get all of them, but find a shade that you like. <laughs> But that is one thing, if you want to try out the, sh the actual shade of it before you buy or invest in the $24 one, pick up the Wet n Wild one. See if you like that shade, and if you want, go for the Fenty one because the Fenty will not let you down. The next shade that I want to talk about is her dark brown, which is called Unveil. I've never actually really been into brown lipstick, so I couldn't find anything in my collection that remotely resembled this shade, but I have to say, I kind of like it. Definitely not of this eye look, I feel like I did a palette roulette with this eye look, so I knew it wasn't going to match every single shade, but it definitely got me to try and to like brown lipstick, and I even wore this to work and did a wear test with this as well, and it lasted. It really did. This. The Fenty formula doesn't make me afraid of any color. Like, putting on a Fenty lipstick, I know it's going to last, it's going to look cute, I can reapply it if I need to, like after eating, and you won't be able to see like differences in the shades, it'll just glide on. Huh. 
I'm waxing poetic. So bottom of the line or bottom line for this one is I don't have anything resembling it in my collection. It got me to try a color that I was averse to trying because I didn't really think I could pull it off and I ended up really, really loving it. I think this is going to be a beautiful, like more nude toned shade on a lot of deeper complexions and I really think this was a great addition to the line. I really think she came out with the essential lip wardrobe here because you've got a red, you've got a light nude, you've got a dark brown nude, you've got a mauve, and then you've got a black. Are there really any other colors you need? Not really. Unless she comes out with another color and then at that point I'll be like, oh, we needed that one too. But really, this is kind of like an essential lip wardrobe. Now last but certainly not least, we're talking about the black lipstick that took over the internet. This is uninvited. I feel like the pigmentation here really does speak for itself. It is heavily pigmented, but I did feel that it didn't apply as easily as the rest of the shades, which of course you would see that this is a, such a stark shade difference. But with the rest of the shades, as I apply them, I don't have to like dip back into the bottle to continue applying. This one, I did see some spots just right around here where I kind of had to like go over and build it up just a little bit just to get it to full opacity. And I was actually planning my black lipstick video and I was thinking like, what other formulas do I want to bring in? What do I want to test out? What do I want to do? And I kept thinking, like, what would be my dream black lipstick formula? I was like, oh, what if Fenty came out with one? I was like, oh, but you know, she won't. She only has the red one out now. And then she came out with the other three shades. And I was like, oh, those are so great. I can't wait to try them out. And then I saw the black. I saw the trend mood post. I was over the moon excited. And I bought it straight from the Fenty website instead of waiting for it to come on to Sephora, like, an hour later. I have to say I love the difference in the packaging on this one. You see the rest of them have like that silver top. This one is matte black. These are also gorgeous display pieces. Like when I have these all together, they're at the very edge of my vanity just on display. They're beautiful. I also love having these in my purse to pull out and reapply. I just feel so classy when I put them back on. Anyway, back to the black lipstick. I don't want to get too much into this because I am going to be doing that black lipstick video. I believe next week it should be coming out when this video was posted. So I don't want to talk about dupes or what else that I found out from this one specifically, other than the fact that with a lot of black lipsticks, when you're talking, you can definitely see the line right there. This one, you don't see it as badly. Like I'm looking in the viewfinder as I'm filming this and I don't see too much of the line of the inside of my mouth with this one, which I've found with quite a few other black lipsticks. So that impressed me already. But if you want to see more about dupes and about the wear time and about what I fully think about this black lipstick compared to a lot of other black lipsticks, don't forget to subscribe and keep your eye out for that video because it'll definitely be out in October. So before we jump into the wear test, let me go ahead and show you just swatches on my arm of all the shades together. Okay guys, so for the wear test, I'm going to be wearing the shade Unveiled, which is the brown shade, because I think you can see the wear on this one the best. I tried to film this yesterday, but unfortunately, I was trying to film this wear test and a foundation wear test in the same day and ended up getting a migraine. Had to just lay down, take medication, blur. But, so I'm going to refilm it today. Right now, it is 1.06, but I finished putting the lipstick on right at 1. So we're going to call the check-in time for this 1 o'clock. I am going to be running some errands today. Also running out today is my anniversary, like, dinner. So we're going to be going out to eat and going out to the beach. So we'll be able to see the wear time on the lipstick. So I will be doing some check-ins. Unfortunately, it is storming outside and kind of cloudy. So I don't know if we're going to get the best natural light, but I will do my best. So like I said, check-in time is going to be one, and then I'll see you for the next update. 
Hi guys, welcome back. So currently it is 5.09. We're currently on the beach. Well, we're by the part of the beach where there's like this army base. So we're gonna walk around, have some dessert because it's a deserted army base and we had to have dessert. My boyfriend was very particular about that. So anyway, the check-in on the lipstick. I've been wearing it since right around 12.30 today and I had one full meal of a burger and some onion rings and this is what it's looking like. So the darker shade, you really can see a big difference here, definitely on the lower lip. So I'm going to currently reapply right now. Let's do this right here. Can I balance everything? We will see. So I do have to say this applies, like reapplies, really, really nicely. I don't get the same effect with a lot of other lipsticks that I have to reapply. For the most part, like if I have to reapply my lipstick, you can see a line in between like where I first put the lipstick on and where I reapplied it. But for the most part, like it's, it feels like I just put the lipstick on for the first time. But so I've reapplied again. It is right around five o'clock. It is 510. So I will keep wearing this lipstick and I will check in again because we are about to have desserts. So <laughs> maybe we'll do a little bit of vlogging. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Hey guys, so I'm here for the final update. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the wear test a little bit short on this because I got another migraine. I've been trying to film this wear test for two days now and both days I've gotten a migraine and I've had to cut a little bit early so right now it is just before 8 o'clock so it's been just a little bit less than 8 hours this is how the lipstick is looking overall like this I don't think is lipstick's fault because I've been constantly doing that since I've gotten the migraine but overall you know it's actually really good after you know reapplying after eating Overall, I've had really good wear tests with these lipsticks and they're, like I said before, among my favorite, favorite lip formulas of all time. So I would really highly, highly recommend them. And like I said, they're the favorites in my collection and I would really recommend them more than any other lip formula. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I'm sorry that the wear test had to get cut a little bit, but I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.